calendar for this. <clears throat> the 281 tournament um, started back up again this week, and the girls played on the 14th, which was Monday in Huron, and they played Highmore Herald, and they won. So now they will be going to the championship against Sanborn Central on Thursday at 6 p.m. And the boys played last night, the 15th, versus Westington Springs, and they also won. So they will be playing for the Consolation Championship at 1.30 p.m. on Thursday in the Huron Arena. And I believe there will be a early dismissal tomorrow as well. I'd say probably probably. Yeah, somewhere around so there. I to get down the game. It's also Cody Anderson's birthday today. Um, and then on the 18th, we have JV Girls and Boys Basketball here in Tulare, and it's Jacob Miklich's birthday. Uh, Sunday the 20th, we have two birthdays, Addie Holthalter and Rebecca Nasty have birthdays that day, so happy birthday to those guys. And then on the 21st, we have Junior High Boys Basketball versus Redfield Dolan here in Tulare, and Girls Basketball at Coleman Egan, and there's also Alana, Alana Klein Sasser and Alicia, Alicia Klein Sasser's birthday that day. And the Coleman Egan game, I believe, is your makeup game from the uh, yeah, from our classic. So, yep. Uh, Tuesday, the 22nd, junior high girls basketball, boys basketball at Redfield. And boys play, boys play at Warner and girls play at Redfield. And we have three birthdays that day. I have Shown, Morgan Bottom, and Travis Gordon. 23rd, we don't have nothing, and then the 24th, there is a doubleheader basketball game versus Silly Beats in Silly Beats. So I believe that wraps it up for this week. So uh, let's jump into uh, sports with, with Cody Sutherland. Sutherland. Hello, this is Kobe here with the Hitchcock Tuller Sports News. So on January 11th, the girls played Sunshine Bible and they won 60 to 32 and Elizabeth Salmon was the leading scorer with 15 points. On January 12th, the boys played Highmore Herald. Grant Hamilton and Gabe Clark both had five points and they lost 57 to 22. On January 14th, the girls played Highmore Herald and they won 41 to 38 and Elizabeth Salmon was the leading scorer with 13 points. And on January 16th, the boys played Westington Springs, and they won 53-38, to and Ty Hofer was the leading scorer with 25. Thank you. Back to you. Thanks, Kobe. So let's hop into our elementary interviews for this week. Hi, I'm Amanda Hosel, and I'm with Troy Hughes. How are you doing, Troy? Good. What are you doing today in class? Boring stuff. What kind of boring stuff? Class. Okay. Um, what do you do for recess? Nothing. Sounds fun, I guess. Back to you. Hi, I'm Trajan. I'm here with Colin. So, Colin, what grade are you in? Sixth. Um, what are you learning in sixth grade? Math. What kind of math? Exponents. Ooh, um, what do you do out at recess? Um, I don't go to the recess. I'm doing homework. Oh, that's good. Really knocking them out here. Um, so is there anything in particular you like to do fun at school? Or for fun? P.E. P.E.? What do you do in P.E.? Dodgeball sometimes. Oh, fun. That's all to Dawson. Hi, my name is Dawson Otto, and I'm here with Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hi. Uh, what grade are you in? Third. What are you learning in third grade? Mm, division. How's that going? Good. Uh, what is your favorite thing to do out at recess? Play Zombie Zombie Come Alive. What is that? It's a game. Can you tell me how you play it? Technically, you say, zombie, zombie, come alive. When I count to the number five, one, two, three, four, five, come alive. And then the person has to close their eyes and try to get the person, the people. And if they tag them, they're it. That sounds fun. Um, what is your favorite subject in school? Science. Now to Amanda. 
Thank you for those interviews. So I think that about wraps up this week's edition of uh, HGTV. Remember to be awesome. Not average. average.